Hi and happy Mask Monday. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Mask Monday and I do a mask every Monday and you can follow other ladies who are doing Mask Monday by searching the hashtag, hashtag Mask Monday Ladies and check out some other great ladies who are also doing this tag. So, yeah, on today's mask, I have on Ulta Beauty's uh, Holiday Party Animals. It comes in a set of three, and it has a little butterfly, and a sloth, and a little snow leopard. And today I am doing the butterfly. And I also have on the eye mask that I usually use is the Heatseer. I get them off of Amazon. If you are interested in either product, I will list them down below. And um, just a heads up, these are very heavily scented. So, hi, hello. If you are new here, my name is Jennifer, and I am a makeup channel and an unboxing channel and i also talk about agoraphobic topics and if you're interested in that then that's great i hope you join our little family by hitting subscribe and hitting the notification bell and setting it to all so that you're notified every time that I upload a video. And today we are going to be talking about your unpopular makeup opinions. Ooh, sorry about that. So if you're interested in that subject, then hang tight because we are getting right into it. Okay, I just want to thank everybody who has clicked on this video to watch. And back when I was having a giveaway, I asked the question, what is your unpopular makeup opinion? And a lot of you left answers. And I just wanted to go through some of them. Okay. One of you said, my unpopular opinion would have to be the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Everyone raved about it. I just couldn't get into it. I kept thinking I just didn't get the right shade. So I wound up wasting my money on three different shades. I knew I threw them away because just didn't like them. I love the never have a... I, uh, okay. And I don't know. I've heard... Oops. I've heard differing opinions on the e.l.f. camo. What is it? The e.l.f. camo CC cream. I never got any for myself because I just don't like e.l.f. as a brand, personally. I've gotten one. I've gotten a few of their... Um eyeshadow palettes and they're just okay and so I really don't shop them as a brand so I'm kind of leery about buying their complexion products because people seem to be so yes and no about them so I am definitely not going to check out their e.l.f. Camo CC cream after that. Um, let's see. I feel bronzer and contour powder is the same product, so why differing them? Okay, I feel the same way. I don't use contour powder because I feel like doing a bronzer is basically the same thing. So, I agree with that one. Let's see here. 
My unpopular opinion about the makeup community is how some brands unapologetically repeat the same products in different packaging and expect customers to purchase whatever wasteful they create. I agree with that one. Especially with ColourPop, they're always duping themselves. Let me know if y'all agree or disagree with any of these down below. My unpopular opinion is that we wear makeup to impress others. I think we should wear makeup for ourselves and no need for a special occasion. Every day is a special occasion. Okay. I agree with that one too. I wear makeup because I just like to wear makeup. I'm not usually going anywhere when I wear makeup, so I just do it just to have fun with it. So I don't think you should have to wear makeup to impress anybody. So yeah. Bye, and Okay, that's kind of the same thing. I don't find it good when fans stimulate their favorite celebrities' worst makeup launch. Um, yeah. Um, I think you should only buy it if it's good, not just because it's your favorite celebrity. And a lot of celebrities are getting into the makeup and skincare realm and I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing but if it's not good it's not good and sometimes it's just not good okay that one's kind of the same thing ah Okay. I'm sorry here. My unpopular opinion about makeup is that you can wear moisturizer and still feel like you have thick makeup on. When I want a light makeup, I try my best to wear moisturizer and just a natural lip balm. Most of the time it works out for me. I don't have a complete makeup product. Well, it's just who you are. Some people like to go out with full makeup, and sometimes people don't like to wear full makeup look. I sometimes when I, a lot of times when I do go out infrequently, but when I do go out, I'll just wear my skincare and a light dusting of powder and maybe some mascara and that's all I'll wear so um and some people just feel like they have to wear I used to be like that I used to feel like I couldn't leave the house without makeup on but as I've gotten older I've just decided that I just want to wear makeup for fun and just wear it when I want to wear it Okay, here's a good one. My unpopular opinion is that you can't wear certain colors of makeup after a certain age. Makeup is for everyone, and if you feel good in it, wear what you want. Exactly. I see a lot of people say that after you're 40, you can't wear shimmer shades, or you can't wear highlighter, or anything like that and I feel like that's just wrong I feel like if you want to wear shimmers like I wear shimmers I wear shimmers outside of the house I wear highlighters outside of the house and I don't get like stares or anything like that in fact when I went to my appointment the other day I got lots of compliments on my makeup so yeah wear what you want when and whatever age you want to wear it um let's
10. Why some influencers show us how makeup is in reality and it's not like the filtered photos on social media instead of instead of start filtering themselves and be audienced in selling products. Yes, especially it's bad on Instagram how much they filter themselves. And as far as being honest while selling products, I don't like it when YouTubers try to sell products that they are being sponsored on. I don't really trust their opinions on the product. Um, I don't know. I just feel like they have a biased opinion on it. So usually I just don't, I don't trust them. My unpopular opinion is, here it goes, I am only pretty with makeup on and I must own the most popular brands to achieve this. I said it. I hope you have a wonderful day and keep being you. Okay, if that's how you want to do it, then that's fine. But um, just know that you are beautiful no matter how you are. And, you know, I'm sure nobody would say anything to you if you left the house without makeup on. But if you only feel pretty wearing makeup and the hottest brand makeup, then you do you. Okay? I don't think anybody has any right to say anything to you otherwise. Look at me, I'm agreeing with all these unpopular opinions, which most of these unpopular opinions really aren't that unpopular. My unpopular opinion is a lipstick can completely change your look. It can enhance your look and gives a makeup appearance even if you haven't worn any kind of makeup. You can even use a lipstick as a blush and eyeshadow. It, it's very handy. You can even use a toner as makeup setting spray. Totally agree with you. Lipstick is very versatile. You can use it as anything. And it can totally change. Like a red lipstick can totally change your whole... You've got a whole look going and you put on a red lipstick and it changes. Totally changes where you're going with your makeup look. Okay. I like the look of just shadow and mascara or shadow and a pretty lash. Also, making both eyes match every time is a nightmare in itself. Tell me about it. I still wear liner sometimes like on a formal days. But most makeup days I don't use liner at all or I'll smoke the eyelash with a deep shadow. Okay. Yeah, I like using eyeliner. But I don't do wings with it. My unpopular opinion is that wings are overrated. And here's somebody saying, my unpopular opinion is we don't need hundreds of hacks to apply winged eyeliner. The given thin brush works well if we do it nicely. Okay, sometimes just doing a wing liner takes practice. And <laughs> I've practiced and I've just decided that I'm not good at it. So I don't do a wing liner at all. Okay, so let's do one more. Okay, I have a few unpopular opinions. I think it's totally fine to put shimmers in your crease. In your crease. I've done that before. I don't think that's too out there. I've done looks where I used shimmers all over 
like up in my bra and everything like that. But I know it's not for everybody. I think the e.l.f. putty primer is crap. Okay, this is going back to e.l.f. Uh, I'm not a big fan of e.l.f., but this could be controversial. The Dior No Powder Powder is another product people love that I think is not worth it. Never tried it. But maybe that's controversial. I don't know. So I can't comment on this one. The price, it is too hard pressed and acts like a product that has hit hard pound. Okay, so to everybody out there, the Dior No Powder Powder is another product that is not worth the money, according to this person. So you have been warned. Okay, so those are some unpopular, but mainly just opinions from people out there. I am going to take off my mask. Like I said, if you plan on getting these masks, know that they are very heavily scented. So if you are not for that, then I would say don't get these masks, but they are very cute. And they are an Ulta exclusive, so you can only get them through Ulta. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this Mask Monday. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment. You can leave, keep leaving your unpopular makeup opinions down below. And yeah, I hope you're having a fantastic day out there. And if you are not, I hope something comes along and kickstarts your day so that you can enjoy your week. And if you are in the U.S., enjoy your holiday week. And if you celebrate Thanksgiving, that is. And if you are having an especially hard time, just remember I am thinking about you and sending you out the good vibes. Just remember to stay strong and stay healthy and stay safe. And I will see you again tomorrow. So hopefully I will see you again soon. All right. Goodbye.